Hi guys, Ian and Matt from footballboots.co.k. Today we're talking about Nike's Techcraft Pack. This is the fourth edition of their Techcraft Pack. We'll look back at some of the older ones and then we'll get into telling you about all these new releases across all the Nike ranges. So let's start off with looking at a little kind of tease. We've got a little bit of the Superfly Soul Plate there to look at. These are the back of the Hyper Venoms and we've also got the Soul Plate. So there are other Football X versions available. There's going to be the Mercurial X. The Hyper Venom X, the Tiempo X, and the Magister X. They're all in this video, so stay tuned, we'll go through them all. Let's sort of start talking about a little bit of history. This is the originals. So this was the first ever pair of the Techcraft boots, and it all featured that leather upper, of course, and also with that black colorway, but they actually changed the accent colors of them. So there's four different models in there, and they changed the colors from a pink, orange, blue, and green. It's quite a nice pack. Yeah, so they tied them in with the previous Lightning Storm pack. These came out in August 2015. Sanchez there with the Mercurials. And then we've got the Hypervenoms with, what was that, Cavani? Cavani's there, yeah. Um, and then Maturidi with the Magisas. There was also a green TMPO pair. And so that was the first Techcraft pack, and they were pretty popular. Then they moved on did the Canvas Bolt ones, perhaps not as popular. It wasn't as good looking. I mean, it was a very quick follow-up as well, because these came out in November 2015, so they were quite um, soon afterwards. And there was no player support, really, with the, is this version. Um, and yeah, the, they, weren't, they weren't as good as the originals, it's pretty much. No, I remember I tested them and also when I sweated in the books I actually showed the sweat on the outside. Oh yeah, that wasn't very good, it wasn't. There's a lot of issues with kind of the leather tech craft ones. So these are the hypervenom ones, those are the Magista ones, and those are the Superfly ones, so those are the ones you tested in you know, Yeah, you just see the sweat around there. Yeah, so the, 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 the brown kind of changed colour a little bit, it wasn't ideal. And those are the Tiempo ones. Um, the next pack was the, what was it called? Like um, that Achromatic? Achromatic, yeah. So pretty much it was light bone with the black combined. Um, it was and better looking. Yeah, they released it and then they just kind of threw in a Tiempo. It wasn't really part of the pack, they'd already come out, but they threw those in. Yep. So Superfly, Hyper Venoms, Magistas again, um, everything had it. And it was a nice kind of combination, the, the light bone and the black, but unfortunately, Nokia had a lot of problems with the way that the black was um, bleeding onto or rubbing off onto the white. Um, so it was kind of a bad release for Nike. It wasn't very successful, a lot of returns. Yep. A lot of people had trouble with these. But they did look nice, but um, only if they kind of made, were made proper. Leather, white leather boots are tricky to play. Not to be white on 3G because it just made the black. And that's the best thing about this new pack that Nike have got out now is it's a black leather pack, so you really can't go wrong with that. And we'll see that very soon now. So let's just go through that. It's the Magista version. Well, that's the Opus. Um, and here we go. So this is what we're looking at. This is a new pack, guys. What do you think of it? Well, I think this is actually my favourite Techcraft pack that's been released. I'm a big fan of the high and I think it looks really sharp. If you take a close look, you can just see that texture which Nike have put onto the leather upper. Yeah. So it's Allegri leather this time. Yeah, they've gone out. They've put some real nice leather on these. Um, it's the same as you're finding on those like Pier, uh, Pillow Tempos and some of the other kind of high level. End. Yeah, really, really nice. So even on the Tempos, they've replaced out the um, kangaroo leather and they got the Allegri leather on those. So they're really nice. Edition and the soul plate looks stunning. The colors really are pretty much silver and black, is what you're seeing throughout this pack. Yeah, um, here's a nice close up detail on the Hyper Venom Phantom version. Here it is from the other side, so it still has all that kind of the ACC and everything incorporated as well on top of the leather dynamic fit colors, all fit in really nicely with the black. Here's the kind of logo they're using for the pack. Nike swoosh has been embossed this time, yeah, so it's, it's not printed on. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, um, and then you've got the stitching around that as well. So it's a really like premium it's look very premium. for this release. The, and the details on the on the black looks very nice too. Um, here they are from the back. We've seen that one before. So let's move on. We'll look at the finish now. The finish, the low cut version. Well, obviously it's a boot that I love. The finish, and I mean I, I used to like leather boots a lot, so I'm really interested to see how these actually do come out. I'm, yeah. I like the first Tetra ones that came out in the black and orange, which is our kind of colorway. And it looks like they've just taken it to another level with the Allegria. And also that texture that they've put on top, and after you're saying that, is to make it a little bit softer, but also increase a little bit of grip as well. So it looks like they have kind of up the game. Yeah, I mean, these, I think it's nice little kind of shine to the sole paper as well. For which sure. Is which is good for you from the top down. They actually remind me a lot of the Vapor 10 Techcraft kind of release. tongueless design, yeah, same kind of shape. Very similar. But yeah, again, we can see that swoosh and the, and the stitching line and everything. Very premium. It's really nice. Real nice. Here we another little look at them. Are any pros going to wear these ones? I don't think so. I think that it's just going to be a kind of... They never really do for some reason. Oh, I think it's a great thing to have kind of like a modern day boot by giving some... Yeah, I'm sure a lot of pro players would really enjoy these boots. Uh, They're pretty just too subtle. Alright, so, so let's move on. Price. We're going to go indoor now. So let's look at the Hypervenom X. Uh, Proximos, there's going to be a turf version as well as the indoor ones. We're just going to look at the indoor ones today, and it has that kind of gum sole. Yeah, gum like brown, I think Nike yeah. called it. It's nice, I think mean, it's a nice tr traditional look as well, and it works with the black quite well. Yeah, I mean, it pairs in really nicely with those outdoor versions. I mean, you're looking at pretty much the same thing, aren't you? Um, it's a pretty nice boot. I still I would prefer if it was a black sole. But I suppose it's probably more chance of it being a marking sole, and that's part of what yeah, that's the whole thing. Is it should be non marked Yeah, so but it's it's a nice sole on the indoors. Um, yeah. Here they are on the back. You can see that nice silver swoosh again. 
So it's very smart. nice release. Smart, smart. All right, so let's move on to the next one, and we're going to be talking about the Obra 2. So obviously the Obra 2 has come out not that long ago, and one of the things that a lot of people didn't really like about the Obra 2 is that whole heat map design and also the dimples. But the best thing about this is the tech right pad. You can't there. really see it. Yeah. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get all the innovation, but it's disguised, which is brilliant. Yeah, and you got the leather of the upper too, so it still has those yeah. kind of um, the foam pods and stuff underneath. Yeah, but it has all that tech there, but it's mm. it's underneath the leather. Um, so these are the first kind of over twos that have been in the tech craft. Obviously, the Hyper Venom have been in it before. Yeah. This time around, we've got the Magisus. But over twos are a good boot, by the way. It's a boot that I tested not long ago, and it yeah, is actually it's a really hard performing boot. And like, one thing I didn't like was the look, but because it has been made to look so much better than the tech craft pad. Yeah. New Very levels. nice. Um, yeah. Here's the salt plate. I mean, again, another real nice looking salt plate. Yeah. Nice on the close up as well. It has that um, rotational area there, kind of it's designed in. We know all about that. Yeah. Um, here it is from the side again, and there's the back. It's got that interesting cut, obviously, for the. It's the newer one, isn't it? Yeah. Down onto the Opus. Much better looking. I'm yes. not sure if we've got the Opus around somewhere in the room. I don't think we do. No. But it really did look great. Like the Obra had the heat map design, which kind of disguised the dimples. But the Opus 2, you, you could really see that in that launch colorway. Yeah. And I'm just really happy that they've given it a full black kind of face coat. It looks much more smarter. It's definitely, it's definitely a nice release. Um, I'm still not convinced. It's, it's kind of camouflaging the whole things. I mean, it, it could be, it could be quite good with that leather on the upper. It's really interesting. Yeah. To see. So we, we've seen a couple of these already, guys. Stay tuned because we're going to show you the Mercurial, the Superfly, the Vapors, and the Tiempo's coming up. And we'll also have you tell us which one you think is your favourite. That's the low cut on the Magisa Opus. It's a nice boot, and this is the indoor version, so moving on. I think this is one of the best in indoor boots at the moment. I think it really is top level. So if you do play indoor, then definitely check these out. You look really smart in this colorway as well. Yeah, it's very nice, it's very nice. And the colors all tie in very nicely. There's that salt it has that kind of wavy. Kind of like the fingerprint. Kind of yeah, it is yeah. like the fingerprint, isn't it? That's nice. Very nice, it's a, it's, a, it's a good boot. And there's the top down as well, so if you guys are considering indoor, it's a, it's a really good option. Oh, oh, the yeah. eggs. All right, so this is the Tiempos. This is real smart. I think this might be my personal pick of the newest Techcraft pack. Obviously, the Tiempo Legend itself is leather, but they've given it that Allegra leather, which you found on the Perlos, which have recently come yeah. out. So, the Tiempo Legend really is an elite boot, but this is taking it to another level. So, if you do want kind of the nicest leather boot out there, this is probably the one to go for. Yeah, I mean, I think if you're a Tiempo wearer, you're not necessarily blessed with a lot of like good colorways. A lot of them are kind of yeah. some strange colors that like, you throw into their packs. This is that nice, nice classic black and white or black and silver look. It's real smart. Um, if you're a Tiempo wearer, you probably want to snag a pair of these. They are very nice. Yeah, for sure. All right, so guys, you haven't seen the other ones yet, but make sure you vote in a poll card. Do you prefer the Tiempos, the Mercurials, the Hypervenoms, or the Magisas? Either vote now or vote at the end. Let us know. Is the Tiempo X's? The Lunalon sole, by the way, is a really nice sole. It yeah. has a mid sole. It's real nice and spongy. So if you are painting indoor and you want something a bit more comfortable, this is a great option for you. They are a really good option for indoor. Obviously, with that um, kind of much softer leather, they're not going to last as long with the kind of high contact, high braiding games. Durability might not be there. No, but they are going to soft feel. feel so good. Yeah. They'll be good whilst they last. Yeah, exactly right. Um, and they look nice from the top down. There's the side again. Real smart from the bank. I mean, they'd, they'd be a great pickup. And these, obviously, one of the cheapest boots you can get out of this whole sector that don't have the collar. Um, the Tempo is, is obviously one of the, perhaps one of the better boots, really. It is one of the better boots. boots so the value for money-wise, if you're looking at getting something, you yeah. want to consider the Tempo Legends or the Tempo Xs. Great option. All right, we're looking at something from the top down there. That's Ooh. Mercurial Ooh. X Proximo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. So here we go. There's the sole on it. Yep, a little bit different. Kind of like that geometric triangular design on that light brown gun yeah. sulfate. There it is from the outside. Yeah, see that white coming through. All right, so this is a first look at the, um, the Mercurial line as such in this. Yeah, so it's kind of like mixing a speed boot, which has been kind of like lightweight and agile, but giving it that leather upper. So it really is a little bit interesting to see how it's going to perform, being a speed boot, but with that leather. I mean, it's kind of best of both worlds. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. It still has this kind of hideous extra bit there. We wouldn't want that. We're not big fans of the no. Mercurial Xbox. It's just too bold. But there we go. I mean, it does look quite nice, and if this is your sort of thing, I'm sure you you guys will be into it, it's got that nice the switch on there, stands out quite nicely, it's a good combination. So that's the Mercurial X Proximo, so let's move on and we'll look at the Vapors next. Here they are. Vapors. I love the, the Vapor boot, I think at the moment it really is a top level boot out there. And obviously it's been given this leather edition as well, so it's kind of a really good boot. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of pros out there who, who wear the Vapor leather, who would actually want to wear this boot, but I think Nike prefer them wearing the real bright colourway to market them. Yeah, I mean it's interesting, maybe there could be some players out there who are wearing camo versions. You never know. There might, there might be. 
You never it's know. Hard to, hard to tell what people yeah. are wearing. So the silver looks real nice around that swoosh there. Yeah, and even it works well with the with the speed ribs as well. Like that whole yeah. thing ties in. It's a good up one. Nice salt bay too. And we're going to see that again on the Superfly in a minute. So stay tuned yeah. for those. Here they are from the top down. It'll be interesting to see if Nike put on that added texture because it's coming into winter in the UK. Mm -hmm. Maybe with those weather pictures, Nike thought maybe give it like a little extra bit of grip on there. To go alongside the this is one of the worst things with the with the pack is that they're not releasing a soft ground version, so you're only going to get the firm ground versions, and then the Mercurial Fox Mosey is indoor and the turf versions. Yeah. But um, they're on soft ground, so you have to do like a stuck conversion or something like that if you want to actually wear these in those winter pitches. So timing wise, it's always a bit strange for us. Who's necessarily going to be wearing these in in the UK when the weather turns? Here's them from the back. All right, guys, time to see the Superflies. Let us know what you think. I mean, what a boot. I mean, it is ultra responsive. If you want a boot that's going to be the most responsive on the market, I'll probably say this is the one to go for, especially suited to wings and forwards. And that speed grip upper really is that good. Lots of lockdown mm -hmm. and also some nice touch and feel as well. So the dynamic bit collar blends seamlessly into the upper. It just looks like... It has almost two tone. Super premium. Kind of nip, yeah. They look really nice. Though. Yeah, classic. Can't see anything apart from that. So make sure you vote, guys, in the poll. Let us know which is your favourite out of all these lines. As I said, um, Mercurial, Hypervenom, Magista, Tiempo. Let's wrap up this and look at the Good rest smart. of the Superflies. Let us know in the comments below what you think about them too. Any questions, make sure you drop them in there. We are going to wrap this up and say go enjoy football.